deadly avalanche at Alpine Meadows. Uh, the victim identified as Cole Comstock, a beloved husband and avid skier. It happened in an area that was open and inbound. CBS 13's Anna Giles is in Alpine Meadows tonight where she spoke with a woman who watched this tragedy unfold. A snowstorm brought eager skiers to Alpine Meadows, but it also brought danger. Warnings about an avalanche started Thursday night, and hours later, Cole Comstock was swept away. The man skiing with him rushed to the hospital for emergency surgery. We heard screaming, agonizing pain. You know, obviously, there was a serious injury. Crystal Bauer was on the slopes and watched in shock as this happened. She says she saw Cole Comstock take his last turn. He just disappeared in this almost like a cloud of, of snow. Within one second, it, it, the speed just almost doubled. Comstock was a beloved husband. His wife, Caitlin, shared kind words about him this evening, saying he loved skiing and he loved living life. He deeply loved his friends, his family, and above all, his wife. He supported everyone with all of his heart and was a true example of unconditional love. The Alpine Meadows Ski Patrol was dispatched immediately after this happened and followed by search and rescue crews. First responders are thankful for the dozens of volunteers who helped locate Comstock after the avalanche. We would still be out there looking if we didn't have those witnesses and we didn't have all those resources and the volunteers certainly were a huge help. People familiar with the slopes at Alpine say the area Comstock and his companion were in is rugged and tough, but the powdery overnight snow made it passable. It was just not something that I had considered um, a danger because I just never experienced this inside inbounds. Now, Alpine Meadows says avalanche mitigation efforts were performed this morning before opening to the public. How this avalanche happened is still being investigated.